Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. Uh, today we're going to talk about sales. Uh, this is going to be a, another video in my series, um, A Spray Jockey's Guide to Exterminating. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help people who are exterminators be successful exterminators. And it's also what I require of people that work for me. So uh, today we're going to talk about sales and of course it's the most integral part of your business. It's very important. Uh, you're not going to be in business if you can't sell anything to anybody. Um, this is, you know, the, the market has changed a lot in the past 50 years or so. Um, you know, high pressure sales and stuff, people used to be able to get away with that a lot more uh, back, you know, like I said, 30, 40, 50 years ago, even as much as 10 years ago, people could get away with that. But there's a lot of, uh, I mean, it, it's irritating to people when you go to their house, and, you know, there's a phrase that, oh, he's such a good salesman, he could sell to a woman uh, wearing white gloves. He could sell ketchup packets to a woman wearing white gloves. And the question I always ask is, does she have french fries? Because there's no sense in selling ketchup packets to a woman wearing white gloves unless she has french fries. If she got french fries, then you sell it to her, because then you, you know she needs it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you don't try to sell somebody something they don't need. Um, there needs to be a desire for your service. Uh, like, like I said, for, for the, the process of this video, we're going to go over, uh, pest control, but this is really in any field, you know, whether it's, you know, cell phones or pest control or automobiles or whatever, you know, uh, but today we're going to talk about pest control. So you go up to a lady's house and you're trying to sell her, uh, say you're trying to sell a spider job you know, spider pest control, and she doesn't have any spiders. Or you're trying to sell her an ant job, and she has spiders, but she doesn't have ants. You know, you need to sell her what she wants. You need to give her, you, you're, you're providing a service for them for what they want, for what they need. You're giving them what they need, uh, not what you need. It's not about what you need, it's about what your customer needs. And so, today, and, and this is what sparked this video, I got a call um, not even 10 minutes ago from an insurance salesman. He calls up and he says, oh, hey, I, uh, I drive by your office every day and I got to thinking about you and I was wondering how you're doing on your, uh, employee insurance. And immediately, all right, this is one thing that bothers me and it bothers most people. I don't like to be lied to and the guy, I, I, talk, I asked him, I said, that's really interesting. So you drive by my office every day. That's really interesting because I don't have an office. I operate my business out of my home. I don't have a sign in my front yard. I don't advertise my business at all. So how do you drive by my office every day? And so right away, I pointed out that he was lying to me. And he stuttered and stammered and said, oh, well, um, uh, well, I guess I'll eat. let you go then. And he hung up. So, you know, he, I caught him in a lie. The guy called and he obviously was lying right off the bat. The very first sentence he told me was a lie. And you know he's reading this from a paper or whoever that they gave it to, you know, gave it to him. These are your talking points. This is what you need to say when you call up a company and you get somebody on the phone. This is what you say. And so he's just repeating the same thing to everybody. Oh, I drive by your business every morning whether it's true or not. So another thing happened. My wife got a phone call from a salesman. They, uh, now I'm local to Charlottesville and Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, Charlottesville is in Albemarle County. And a lady called and she said that she was with the Albemarle County, what is it, the uh, community center in Albemarle County. And what they do is they sell refrigerator magnets with, like, emergency numbers. And because we're 24-hour pest control, they wanted to put us on their refrigerator magnets that they, you know, cycle around. And my wife, she said, oh, well, that's, that's interesting. So you're with, you're, you're actually uh, contracted through Albemarle County? And the woman said, well, um, no, no, not really. We work with the uh, community center. We work with community center. 
And so she's like, so you're with Albemarle County's community center. Well, no, 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 no. Our company is community center. So the woman's company name was community center so that she can call any county like Albemarle County or uh, Campbell County or Amherst County. And she can say, I'm with, Al uh, uh, you know, whatever county community center because the name of the business is community center. And this is how she's able to basically take advantage of somebody, make them think that this is what they're going to do, and then they're not actually providing the service that you think you're getting. Um, like I said, it's it's very deceptive sales. You don't want to try to deceive people when you're trying to sell them something. Um, if your customer... All right, it, this is this is the one thing that will hurt you the most as an exterminator. This is something that I have actually experienced firsthand. Uh, is all right. Let's say you go to your customer's house, and they, you know, just regular pest control, and you get to know people, and they ask you questions and stuff because this is what this is going to happen. You know, if you're going to be doing pest control, you are going to get this question all the time. Basically, what they do is they come up to you and they say something like, um, do you know what this bug is? That's the most common one. And they'll show you like something they've saved. They may have squished it beyond recognition and you're doing the best you can. It does not hurt to say, I don't know. Um, if you don't know the answer to their question... But you want to see, you know, I mean, you want to be knowledgeable. You want to be able to answer their question. Like, one one question, this is one that I get answered a lot, I ask a lot, is, well, how long does it take for a bed bug egg to hatch? Now, this is something I really didn't know up until, you know, a few months ago. I would never looked into it, actually. I just know about how long it takes for bed bugs to become a problem in someone's home. And I never actually looked up to it. They actually can hatch six to ten days. I looked it up for a lady because she wanted to know. And so I said, well, you know, I don't really know. I should look that up. And that's what you do. You're honest to people. Be honest. Let them know. You know, because you can't know everything. And just tell them. The thing that, that a customer has, and this is something that might upset a few people. I'm not trying to be offensive or anything like that. Um, the customer has what I call a bullshit meter. All right. Now, if you're going to give them, you're basically going to bullshit your answer. You're going to give them a bunch of crap that isn't true. That you don't know. You think it sounds good. And it probably does sound really good. They're going to know you're lying. People can read you like a book. You don't realize it. You think you're convincing. You sound convincing, but you're not. And people don't like, like I said, people really don't like to be lied to. I hate to be lied to. I don't like to be deceived. I don't like people to act like they know what they're talking about if they don't know what they're talking about. And like I said, you can tell when something, someone doesn't know what they're talking about. Watch a presidential election. <laughs> Watch politics on TV. You could tell. The people don't know half time what they're talking about. They get answered a question out of the blue that they're not expecting to be on their talking points, and they don't know. They're like, they're out there just trying to skate their way past because they want to seem knowledgeable, but they don't know. And that's what happens with pest control. If you get asked a question and you don't know what a bug is or you don't know an answer, don't act like you know because you don't know. It doesn't hurt to say, um, let me get back to my office. I've got some reference material I can go look up, take, take, do some research, and I'll get back to you. Follow through. Don't tell them you're going to look it up and then forget about it either. You know, if you have to, carry a notebook. I carry a notebook in my back pocket because I can't remember anything. And so, you know, carry a notebook, keep track of the questions your customers ask, look up the answers, and let them know the truth. So, basically, this whole episode today has been about uh, how to be a truthful salesman, how to be successful in sales, and don't try to high pressure your sales. It it's just going to cause people to be irritated. Don't you know? Don't give people misinformation, and uh, and you'll be successful. If y'all really like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all the likes and subscribes and everything everybody's been giving me. And uh, 
I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and I'll uh, I'll be seeing you later. Thanks.